I kind of wanted to um to wait around a little bit, right? I'm I'm never uh jump up and do something immediate guy, especially with with you know something that's not football, right? I try to keep this thing as football as possible because that's the content, that's what it is. When we get outside of that and we start going into real life situations, then I would love to get more information i would love to get evidence i know my immediate reaction sometimes people seek it but i think you know with with this kind of platform you got to be responsible you know what i mean and if i just come out and say oh kelvin joseph killed somebody xyz xyz then it looks bad if it comes out that he ain't killed nobody or that he was unarmed or that he ain't even shooting nobody so you just got to kind of have your uh <laughs> funny enough when when me and will still was talking to that source of ours thursday they was all like hey man boss man fat and his boys da 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 da, da. in my mind i heard boss cowboy shot somebody <laughs> In my mind, in my mind, that's what I heard. So I was like, what? You know what I mean? So it's it's always best to just, you know, to just sit back and kind of chill. We like to quote philosophers here, right? Styles P says, hey, man, look, plug the fan in. Let the sweat dry off. Then grab the cannon. You must be slow and contemplative with things like this. You don't want to create a bigger storm than what something really is. Um, and, you know, I. Often when we get topics like this, man, one of my biggest problems comes from, you know, fans come from people uh, that are, you know, consuming this information. Right. Because, you know, sometimes if you know, like if I go live and this happens, someone will come to my channel. Be like, OK, well, Vash, what are we going to do about cornerback right now? And this shouldn't even be about football on the on the front end. This shouldn't be about a second round pick wasted or who's going to play cornerback two for us. Somebody died. A young person died. Cameron uh, Cameron Ray. Young person died. And then another uh, young person who had a bright future, that future looks murky. You know what I mean? So that's real life ass situations way before even football. And I don't want to come on here to to to, you know, speak in a way that, oh, well, whoever got shot. Oh, oh that's not important. We're going to talk about this and this and this and this, you know, just, you know. Sometimes, you know, I just like to be a little more calculated. So uh, but now we're here to give my whole thought and opinion on the uh, on the uh, Kelvin Joseph thing. And I don't really look at this whole situation, you know, with with anger. And it's interesting that I see people interacting with this situation, you know, with 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 with, with some type of, oh, F Kelvin Joseph, F this, F that. And I think that's like an NFL culture thing, because I think what happens with fans and NFL culture and these players is that we don't look at them as play. And when I say we, I don't mean like me and y'all I mean like them. So when I say we, I mean like those people, they look at NFL players not as people, but as assets. Right. So, you know, you can t you can look at this situation and totally forget that Kelvin Joseph is a 22 year old that was in a bad situation in the wrong place at the wrong time. Don't get me mistaken. I'm not excusing his his behavior. I'm just kind of painting my picture here. And Kelvin Joseph's situation ain't worse than Cameron Ray's situation. So let let's just be clear with that and Cameron Ray's family. So let's be super clear. But. The whole idea, what I think happens with this social media culture, NFL, and how they interact with players, there seems to be this, this idea that just because you make a million dollars, you got to be the smartest and most mature motherfucker in the world. When in real life, that ain't the case at 22 years old. Should Kelvin Joseph not be in the streets with hooligan friends? 100%. Should he not be, you know, be around those friends when confrontation and stuff like that's going on? 10,000%. Should he have not been in the car? Because look, nobody just ups and just shoots. There had to be some, oh, F this dude. Oh, we about to do this. We about to do this. We about to do this. 10 more steps. I right, get in the car. K Kelvin had a lot of steps to get the hell up out of there. Right. But I don't look at this and go, Kelvin, go ahead. Are oh, you good? Kind of frozen for a second. Got you. I don't look at this and say, oh, Kelvin, da 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 da, waving my finger. You move with your uncle and auntie and Bel Air finger wave, Kelvin Joseph. I hope that we can do a better job of like preventing shit like this. You know what I mean? So when we when we when we think about, you know, the league and the players that go in the league, yeah, a lot of these dudes are the role models that you that you want these these players to be for your kids or whoever the hell that you think they, that they should be role models for. But in real life, a lot of these dudes come from damaged families and damaged backgrounds, and they use football as a way to get out the hood. They use football as a way to escape that. And it takes time to, to reacclimate yourself. I'm not excusing Kelvin Joseph's actions. 
We just having a conversation as content person and viewer. I think the NFL could do a fantastic job of this because I don't have a stat on this. There's no like CDC number on this, but I'm willing to bet. I'll, I'll say 60 plus percent of athletes in the NFL come from a background like this. And I think it'll be beneficial to players like that to go through a, I ain't got the word for it, Will, so like a reconstructive corrective program, like a, like a, like a, you not in the hood no more reconstructive program. That makes sense. They have a rookie symposium uh, similar, but, but it's not, it's not that direct. Like, yo, you come from, from the hood. Now we got to put you in this type of program. Sure, like, you know, watch your money, watch Gold Diggers and all this. I think there needs to be a program for these, you know, I ain't going to, I was about to say these, these Dez Bryant types, but, you know, Cowboys had security walk around with yeah. Dez Bryant. It's out of trouble. But situations like that, people like that, you know, we, 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 we can't just automatically assume that that Kelvin Joseph has the sense that, that that's playing back in his head. I was actually tuned into your show earlier. Will still over on A to Z Dallas. And you know, some people were, were, were calling in and be like, Hey man, me and my friends wouldn't even be in the club like that. Well, you're speaking from a perspective of a 30 year old. You see what I'm saying? The perspective of a 22 year old. And to be fair, this is once again, I just want to preface the shit out this. Cause it's easy to take a clip and be like, Vach said it's cool for Kelvin Joseph being the, to be in the call with gangsters like you know i don't want i don't want that to be a thing i'm streak i'm strictly speaking from the idea with the information that we were given that kelvin was unarmed and he got in the, in the car with no intentions on shooting nobody and he didn't shoot nobody you see what i'm saying that's the information that i'm working on if that's the case then we need some type of situation some type of league preventative measure to where hey kelvin i know these your people and you're 22 years old and you're a millionaire, but that don't not make you 22 years old because you're going to do some of the same shit that a broke 22 year old would do. It's just that you're going to do it with a shiny ass, you know, the vibe chain, you know, you know what I mean? Like, like, like shit like that. So I don't expect Kelvin mm -hmm. to have had and just peep all my subjects and my verbs and shit, right? To have had the maturity to know that that wasn't a situation that he could be in. As a 30 year old looking at it, that's one of the worst situations you could possibly be in. But Kelvin Joseph, fresh out the hood, he's only had a little bit of money for a little bit of time. It's not like he can, he can go buy Russell Wilson house right now. Kelvin ain't, ain't got that money. Kelvin got his level of whatever his money is, which is a lot more than, than than most of us. But that don't take away from the fact that he's done some dumb shit. Well, we can take a, or he was around some dumb shit. Well, we can take away from this. It's a lot of different ways we can we can do this. But what we can take away from this is that I hope Kelvin Joseph has figured has figured something out. I don't want nobody in jail necessarily. Let me say this. I don't want nobody in jail necessarily, but this may be this may have been something good for Kelvin that if he's around somebody, and it's another preface I gotta make with this. So so there's this thing in the hood, right? To where like if you're in the hood and you got somebody that's that looks like they can make it out the hood, whether it be an athlete, rapper, or whatever, you have this thing called protecting the money. You know what I'm saying? If 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 you know, and this this could be something different because they got bad OGs. Like, they OGs and they old heads ain't, ain't that great. But when you see the person with the future, when you see the money going down a certain type of path, it's the environment's job. It's the old, the old heads job, the OGs job to get that dude away from that situation, which is probably why Kelvin's not, not in jail right now. We don't know yet. But it's their job to kind of keep Kelvin away from that situation. So if Kelvin got friends that don't even have the understanding that Kelvin Joseph is the money and that he got the future, then Kelvin, Kelvin probably don't need them people in his life anyway. Kelvin don't need them dudes around anyway. And Kelvin, as a 22-year-old, may not have the maturity enough to tell a toxic person in his life to not be in his life anymore. Jail will automatically do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Kelvin ain't got to make this decision anymore. Kelvin doesn't, he no longer has to say, okay, how do I tell these friends of mine that I probably grew up with all, all, all Baton Rouge guys, how do I tell, uh, you know, these people that I grew up with that we can't be cool anymore. Jail will do it for you. Jail will do it for you. There was another person that, um, called into your show earlier. Will still, I got a lot of my notes from your show earlier. Salute mm -hmm. to you, sir. Uh, they were speaking online. Well, Vach, where's all the leadership? Where, where, where yeah, the oh, where, that where's strange. that? So this is my response to that. Y you don't get leadership necessarily always from just somebody that's older. You know what I mean? You, you, you get leadership from somebody that you look up to. 
You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's why I like Tupac was so like influential because Tupac was who he was. He was relatable and he had a message. So people follow Tupac. Right. If you just an old person, wave your finger at Kelvin Joseph. He's probably not listening to you. That goes in one ear that goes out the other. That's regular ass psychology. That's regular ass mental health shit. You're like we're like younger people at his age. We're not listening to, to old people like that, especially when it sounds like we're waving our finger at you, especially when he's probably in, he's been in the streets his whole life. Kelvin Joe's probably been in the street since a teenager. So you mean to tell me a decade of street, you trying to just up and erase from, you know, Michael Irvin, maybe shaking your hand one time saying, get out of trouble. It's not, it's, that's not going to be the case. That's not going to be the thing. This is not me excusing Kelvin Joseph's actions. He fucked up. He was around some dumb shit and he probably should have said something earlier. This is just me painting the picture, just kind of letting y'all know what probably happened. You can't expect a 22 year old to just show the fuck up and be like, all right, bro, I'm, let me let me listen to what Michael Irvin got to say. And then we going to die, die, die. Let me let me not buy a, you know, the vibe chain and not make music and only, do, you know, what I'm saying that that's just not realistic. Everybody in this chat box at some point has been a young person. And when an old person said, don't put your hand on the stove, your goofy ass put the hand on the stove anyway. It wasn't the person. It wasn't the person telling you not to do it. That's the reason why you don't touch stoves. No no more it was the fucking burn of the stove that makes you not touch the stove no more this a hot ass stove kelvin joseph touch it's a hot ass stove and it's going to be a mark on his hand for the rest of his life and hopefully that when we're in future situations like this i don't know how many partners he got i don't know how many of his partners is gangsters and if if it's if only the partners that's that's his of his the only the partners of his that's gangsters of if those are the dudes that went to jail then Kelvin you know Kelvin probably be fine Kelvin probably be good whatever whatever you know somebody also asked well Vach what about uh what about extra retaliation what about like street shit like do you think Kelvin Jones gonna have to watch his back for the rest of his life I don't think so because if you stay the fuck out the hood you ain't gotta worry about hood people if you go places where hood people can't necessarily afford to be at you just be low-key and you just be generally smart and not just broadcast your location and shit like that like you can you can live life you know what I'm saying regardless of what's going on <laughs>